We have recently gone over different options of soap tables here on my channel and today I want to browse to find the perfect soap curing rack. I am at IKEA and the showrooms are always a great inspiration when you are trying to work something out in your mind. At least for me. This is a shelving system for kids with some customizable drawers that could be a good option to hold soap in. Here are different versions of the same system and one in a more wooden look as well. When curing soap the airflow is really advantageous and this shelf divider is great for that same reason, a very affordable tool. This one might be a little unconventional, but in my opinion using wall spaces is a genius storage idea. Why not using these types of book wall shelves to cure soap? Of course, it always depends on your particular situation. Not every solution is suitable for every space. Let's see what else there is. I love this type of meshed metal shelf that is actually a TV cabinet. And here is the same type, but more as a vertical shelf. Very affordable and brilliant as a curing rack. Talking about using wall spaces, check out these wall racks here with a lot of airflow as well. Moving on to the office spaces, this element with three meshed metal drawers, not super sturdy, but it can definitely hold a couple of soaps. A trolley is another very practical solution in my opinion because you can easily move it around. IKEA has lowered the price on this one here and then they have other such trolleys options like this white one over here or this one here, much more expensive though, but with more of a display kind of feel. Then this one here, grey one, also very affordable. I can feel it is quite stable and rolls away smoothly. Here we go with the so-called John Axel series. This is an option that I was considering for quite a while. It is a system of meshed drawers that can hold quite an amount of soap. There are different options to choose from as well. The fine meshed drawers and the ones with a wider mesh as well. The baskets also come in different sizes for different kinds of frames, if you want to call it that way. Like the frame with four drawers and the larger one with the eight drawers. I think this is a great option providing lots of storage and airflow. Here you can see the wider meshed version. Interestingly, you could even add the drawers to another more solid shelf, as you can see here. And by the way, you could use drawers and just place it in a completely different rack as well, just with the drawers as such. Here you can see the smaller frame, great for smaller spaces, and some frames from the same series. Now the fact that this practical system here was completely out of stock made me look further for other versions and I went to have a look at the hardware store in my town. This is basically the Swiss version of Home Depot where you have a separate entrance for the garden section. I feel that browsing through the sections can always be a source of inspiration and ideas. These plastic boxes are amazing, but they are not for sale here and just serve as a container for the store. Let's see if we can find something similar. By the way, you could easily add rolls on any type of shelf for ease of use and to be able to move it around easily. Here's another wall type of shelf option that is completely customizable. 
very interesting if you have enough wall space and the possibility to do it. Similar situation for this one over here. Okay, so these are the so-called Euro containers, at least we know it that way here in Europe. They are stackable and very sturdy, but obviously lacking airflow. Otherwise, this would be a perfect choice. And they don't even need lining because they are made of plastic. So I went on Amazon and I checked for meshed Euro containers. And here is what I found. It's basically containers to transport produce, but would be amazing as curing racks. We don't have soap curing racks in Europe as such, like you have in the US, so this is absolutely fine. I will leave links for all the items that you see in this video down in the description box for you to check out if you want to know where to find these or like similar options for your respective area. So feel free to check it out. It was my dream to get these types of steel racks that I use in self-service restaurants, but the prices are really a no-go for me. There was another more affordable bakery type version, but the price is still too much for my liking. So I went and checked out a second-hand online platform and found one for only 60 francs. I ordered some stainless steel tablets that fit the width of the rack. I'm still going to line them, although they are not made of aluminum, but they are stainless steel as well. I think I could just place the soap on it as is. I'm absolutely happy with my rack. You can move it around easily and it is a great quality. As I said, stainless steel. Please let me know what kind of racks you use and your experience with it if you already have one you are happy with. If not, I hope this video can help you find the perfect soap curing rack for yourself. If you're interested in other soap videos or videos around the subject of soap making, check out the playlist on the screen where you can find many more. Feel free to subscribe and see you soon. Bye bye!